<laughs> so sad. The differences between men and women. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All these damn stanky, dirty Chinese people. Good morning. Good morning. Just woke up very early in the morning today. My friend told me there's a car meet this morning. I'm gonna go grab some stuff to wash my car. As you guys can see, my car is pretty, pretty dirty. For sure, not clean enough to go to a car meet. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a lot of dust here and there. About to get some car wash stuff. Wash and wax. Let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. Ooh, dusters. That seems nice to have. Mmm. I don't know what to go with. So I saw this little thing that caught my eyes. Maybe mainly because of the, the packaging. It's a foaming one. It says helps keep vehicle cleaner for longer. Huh. I wonder how much of that is true. Got this little sheepskin. Um, I, I have no idea how to pronounce this, guys. Chamois? Ca camois? C cami? Cammy. I don't know. Comment down below, please. I really need help pronouncing this because I don't want to sound stupid next time. Oh, yeah, I tried my car with a chamois towel. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So, we are here in the IKEA because they did you vlog this morning? Oh, okay. So, we were supposed to go to this car meet, which I was actually very excited about. I really wanted to see like some cool cars and things like that, but it got canceled. Like, we were almost there, and I guess like the cops found out about it and whatnot. So, then it got canceled so we decided to just come to ikea because it was along the way his friends went home and stuff what a bummer what a fail i washed my car and everything as you guys know cleaned it waxed not waxed it but uh you know shine the tires and everything <laughs> and then i took off when i was washing my car i took off the uh the windshield wipers right i took them off because i wanted to clean them and everything and i took them off and i didn't i did not put them back on so i slapped the windshield back to the uh i mean the windshield wipers back to the uh, windshield and guess what happened yep it cracked my shit because <laughs> this piece right here is like you know full-on metal full-on metal right here so what happened was I just slapped it down and BAM <laughs> so sad my baby's so sad she's so sad she's crying now baby mm. at least she has nice shoes on. Okay, so earlier, this is something I noticed about guys, and Juan and I were cracking up talking about it, so I had to share. I was share. just laughing because it's so <laughs> true, and then like, you know how it's a guy, you don't think about it, but go yeah. on, go on. Okay, so every time I see Wall with like new friends, or guys with just new friends in general, like it's so okay for guys to just have awkward silences. Like they were just standing there, and they were going like this. Babe, hold, hold this for me. Right, okay. Okay, this is what they were doing. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I find, I find it so funny because whenever like I meet new girlfriends and stuff, it's like an ongoing conversation. I'm just like, yeah, where do you go to school? Like, where are you from? Like, we just go on and on and we talk. And then I notice with guys, a lot of times it's so normal for them to just stand there and be like, oh yeah, yeah, bro. So um, where are you gonna go after this? Oh, okay, go home. All right. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just feel like, why are you guys so boring? Oh, it's dying. So <laughs> when Whaley pointed it out, I was like super dying. It's yeah. like, it's so true. Like, guys, like, you know, like, if, if you just man and there's no conversation, it's okay to have like that silence. That awkward silence. Yeah. yeah, for girls, I feel like if there was that awkward silence, we would leave and be like, yeah, like, she wasn't really talking to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Does she not like me? Yeah, does she not like that's me? That's why you guys think it's like me. Yeah. I don't know, that's true. Like, I feel like that's the thing I kind of like about guy's mentality. It's like, it's okay, you know, we just meet. If we don't really talk, it's okay. Like, like we'll less see you next time. Less stress, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I just found that hilarious. So, for those of you guys that watch our videos, which is like that 2% that got dragged into watching this with your girlfriend. <laughs> Hey, no, it's 4% nowadays. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't yeah. know, I'm just kidding. So be sure to comment down below <laughs> and tell us what you think and have you ever noticed that in your friendship? I feel like guys don't notice because it's so normal. Yeah, it's so normal. It's just like, oh, okay, it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah, comment down below. And for the girls out there, comment down below if you agree that when girls first meet each other, it's an ongoing conversation. At least for me. And like, that's how we build friendships, man. We ended up not getting anything from my Kia. But I do want to smell the candles. They smell good, but they don't make your house. Oh, they have labels on them now. That sucks. 
can't open them. Can still smell them. But okay. Anyways. Oh, a sample. Ah, ooh, this one smells really good. Sample. They don't last though. That's the thing. But they're really cheap. We are not getting anything. We are actually leaving now. Empty-handed. Empty-handed. That's a good thing that you can leave uh, IKEA empty-handed. Not like um. Target. Target and Walmart and stuff. Target. Walmart. Talk about Walmart. We haven't been to Walmart in like almost a year. Huh? There's no Walmart around. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. True. Like Wal said, we are leaving empty-handed, and we decided to. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. When people back up. Okay. Anyways, um, we have decided to get some breakfast, and yes, we didn't get IKEA food today because I notice that every time after I eat IKEA food, like I always tell you guys too, I feel really sick after, like. Like just lazy and my stomach kind of hurts because I think their food is just really greasy or something. I don't know. So yeah, I decided not to get that and we're gonna go to Chinatown, the Chinatowns to get some, some Chinese food. The Chinese. Man, 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 it just happened again, man. So I was here sitting with Whaley waiting in line and there's two uh, Chinese ladies, they come in and then they were gonna ask me um, like how how the line works in here and then they looked and they were gonna ask and then after like the first Chinese word that came out and then she looked at me she's like oh oh uh, uh excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I was like oh oh and then in Chinese I said like oh you need to sign your name on it and they're like oh okay like do I really not look that Chinese man? <laughs> I mean they always talk to her yeah like, like in Chinese and then they look at me and they're like, oh, nope, nope, mm -mm. <laughs> Of course, of course, we gotta get Shooting Star Cafe. Although we've never been here early in the morning, huh? Like early this morning. Uh, we actually just met some subscribers earlier and then um, they said like, yeah, we would never thought like you would uh, run into us or we would run into you guys in the morning. That is very true. We only come here at night. What do you want, man? I don't know. I'm gonna look at their um, set meals for, oh. yeah. I think they have some meals. They have some set meals. It's probably because uh, we come nighttime, huh? So they never have yeah. it. Yeah, it goes till 8 p.m. Here they are. You get soup of the day. Oh, what? You get soup of the day. Veggie salad and one hot drink. Oh, yeah. You're so Chinese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just got my breakfast and bam. Tell me, come on. Is your breakfast better or is my breakfast better? Of course mine! What did you guys eat this morning? What you guys eat this morning? Let me tell you, you had Spam and eggs. <laughs> spam and eggs. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm ruining your perfect rice. <laughs> How it be? How it be? The flavor's good but it's really dry. Really dry? What? It's hard vlogging you because like it's so bright behind you that it makes you like all dark. Oh. Vlog you like this. How's that? How's that? Oh, Roasted nice. peanuts. <laughs> mm, we just got our soup of the day, and this tastes like something very homemade. I feel like my grandma has made something like this before, just not so many peanuts. It's good, it's good. It tastes like they've been uh, boiling this or whatever for a few hours. Oh, and we also got a salad. It comes with the meal set, and this looks like the Japanese dressing. It really looks like it, and I hope it is. <clears throat> Whaley is serious about taking a picture of her food. Because this, it got introduced to Whaley by our friend Michael. As you guys have seen in the kung fu videos and such things, Whaley wants to like really annoy him, huh? You want to get him jealous? <laughs> they always do that to each other. <laughs> Look at all that queso. Yeah. So damn good, hey? <laughs> Bone. I mean, the worth was worth it. <laughs> the <worth> it. <laughs> the wait was worth it. <laughs> so we are at this little market. We are trying to get some stuff. Um, what are we getting, babe? Soy gao. Soy gao. Getting some dumplings. Oh, those are the best. Say, it's these, right? On the right. That's not the same brand. It's not. I thought they were. Unless they came. Yeah, we're at a market. I think it's these. Those are the pork ones right there on top? No, that's not the same. Or chicken, chicken on top. No, we want uh, one Oh. Mm -hmm. Heaven, heaven too. I don't know, should we get some? We have a few at home still. It's just cheaper here. Yeah, it's a little cheaper. 
I love how they're putting this music here, huh? Yeah. It's like, damn, they want you to be, um, to have the feels while you're shopping. Yep. <laughs> we'll just get to work. This makes me want to do this. It makes me want to go. Long ass neck. <laughs> Look at these, there's so many. Little mini dicks, mini dicks, mini dicks, large dicks. What? Oakland Chinatown, guys. Oakland Chinatown. For those of you that have not been here, all these damn stanky, dirty Chinese people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are my people. It's home. I love being home. We cross like home is. I love this crosswalk that you can go across. Yeah. It was never like this years ago. Yeah. They just changed it not so long ago. Huh? I think this was the place my parents had their wedding. Oh, this uh, this restaurant, it was under construction, right? It used to be really ugly. I mean, it's not a lot better, but it is somewhat better. It's somewhat better. Incidents or not, the street color is red and yellow matches Wells Fargo. So is it or not? Is it, ma'am? Is it or not? Hmm? Is it or not? Nah. No, you're just nah. <laughs> yeah, lining up for the good good. Lining up for the the good good. Oh, there's no line here because it's not the good good. That's the bad bad. The bad bad. Sneak up on on Whaley's grandma. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Haley's <laughs> grandma just got us some bread because well, grandmas, that's what they love doing. Just give us bread. Bread, yeah. I don't care what anybody's. <clears throat> Damn, my voice has been cracking in every vlog, honey. I don't care what other vloggers say about how awkward it is to vlog. It can't get any more awkward than Chinatown. Like, anywhere. Like, do you agree, babe? I feel like. Chinatown is like the worst yeah, place to like vlog. They don't understand, so they're like, they just oh, yeah. give you like all these dirty looks, like, oh, this thing is crazy and stuff like that. Like, so for me to do this, please give me props, because right now everyone is like looking at me like, what is that guy doing? He's like filming himself. People don't do that, you know. But hey, 2015, people do this all day, all day. <laughs> Damn, guys. Look at that shirt. Versace, 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 Versace. Waity, 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 waity. You ain't flyer than him though. He's wearing Versace everywhere. <laughs> well, I got that fall of 21. She. <laughs> well, I just cleaned the rabbits and I am gonna go buy some paint because I have to repaint my desk since the other day I spilled acetone on it. Ugh, which sucks because it burned the paint off and now, you know, there's just this big patch on my desk that looks really bad. So I am gonna go get some paint. Jello, jello. Oh, so we are now painting Whaley's desk. This desk that used to be in her office. Uh, yeah, so she's starting to paint already. Um, I am taping off the drawers. Speed up the process. Painting it white. Let's see how it comes out. Jello, jello, guys. So we got done painting this thing. Uh, did you put, how many layers did you put? On the top Three. top coat? Three? Oh wait, top coat only did one so far. Okay, one so far. Pretty good, pretty good. We are now going out to have dinner. I mean, to have dessert with everyone. In San Francisco. Kiko. So this place has become Wah and I's new favorite dessert place. Actually, I used to come here a lot as a kid, but um, we recently found it, and it's called Golden Island Cafe. They have like the best desserts. Anyway, I got the same thing as I did last time. This is um, coconut milk with grass jelly and sago. Yeah, in Chinese, it's long. One time I know, and it's really good. It's actually cold. It looks warm, but it is cold. And Wah just has sesame paste with glutinous baldies. <laughs> Dumplings. Huh? With dumplings. Or dumplings. dumplings. Oh, they're filled? Like... No, no, no. Oh, okay. I didn't get both. Yeah, okay. You can get both of them. Okay. Oh, and my grandma's here. She is a party animal. <laughs> Look, you guys. I'm She's chilling with the school. I know. It is 12 a.m. and she is out. <laughs> Actually, she insisted for us to come out. 
so yeah, she is a party animal. Yeah, she's the homie. She was like, I demand all of you to come out tonight. Yeah, I know she dragged Winnie out of bed to come here. I know. Got him. Sing. Oh, hi guys. We are gonna go to sleep. Just can't. <laughs> Try not to go home with Chris Brown or Trey Songz. Trey Songz, man. He was the finest man I've ever laid my eyes on. <laughs>